In this video, we are going to look at deploying our Streamlit app on Heroku. So as you can see, I have replied one app that I had created, uh, which was a hacker challenge to predict customer category. So uh, I've deployed it on Heroku, which is, a, and this is a Streamlit app. All right. So in this video, we're going to see, we are going to see how we can do this. So we will create a dummy app, dummy Streamlit app, and then we are going to deploy that on Heroku. Right, so so I've I've created one dummy simple app on Streamlit and it runs locally right now. This, which is just a header and a image, and we are going to deploy this on Heroku. So right now it's running on my local machine. Okay, so a couple of things that you must have before you do this is you must have your app. Streamlit app ready and running on your local machine. So you must have you must have some knowledge about uh, Streamlit. The second thing that you need to have is your GitHub account because that's where you're going to push your code. So you'll have your Streamlit app which ready and your GitHub account. If you don't have an account, then make sure you make one and because you're going to push a code over there and you will of course have have a hero crew account as well so why do you need the github account because you're going to link your hero crew to github right? so you'll need these three things ready along with that we have some requirements that we need to specify and make some and create some new files so that's what we're going to do now okay so i have my app ready and now what the next thing that i need is a setup dot sh file now this file is uh, this file contains commands that will tell your heroku app heroku app uh, to run your stream data app all right so this will have commands of streamlit okay so let's let's create this file first so setup .sh. and the commands what are the commands so i already have those commands ready with me so i'll just copy these so these are these com these are the commands and let's make this better as you can see you have to specify your email id over here so this is my email id make sure you change it and the other things you can keep the way they are so this is your stream this is your setup.sh file the next file that you need is your proc file what does the proc file do so the proc file is for your heroku so when you deploy your app heroku needs to understand the starting point of your code so this is where the proc file comes into picture so in this proc file you're going to mention the starting point so let's create the proc file as well so what i'll do is i already have a proc file so i'll open this proc file and in this file you'll see the g unicorn all right so instead of that you will have to write this Right. this is what you need to mention so as you can see streamly run app.py will run your app and we have our sh file as well which have additional commands this all right so this app is the name of your python file so right now it is app.py that's why i've written app.py if it is something else make sure you change this as well so i'll save this the third thing that you need to have is the most important one which is the requirements.txt file this file will contain all your libraries that heroku needs to install so that it will deploy everything when your website or your app is you know live so the requirements.txt file so let's create that file now now since I already have some of the libraries that I have deployed. 
so i'll just mention these so actually in our app we are not using any of these libraries we are just using the streamlet but you have to add all the other libraries which you are using so if you're using some pytorch or tensorflow make sure you add everything over here along with streamlet so this requirements.txt file will tell heroku that you need to uh, download all these libraries and then deploy my app okay so these are the three things that you will need to have okay so the next thing that we need to do is we have we need to deploy we need to push a code uh, a code on github okay so so you can go to your account and create a new repo and upload all the files over there or since i'm using vs code i'm going directly going to push uh, the codes the, all the files on the github all right so let me go github publish to github click on allow So it says publish to github private public so i'll keep this public so maybe you can use this github and everything the sh commands and the proc file for your own projects okay so i'll do i won't need the vir which is a virtual environment that i created and the other things we will need okay so click on okay so it says publish to github So it has successfully published to my repo to my account let's go and check if we have or not so i have one extra repo now let's see so deployment heroku streamlet and i have all my files over here great now let's go to our heroku account and let's connect our github to our heroku account okay so i've logged into my heroku account and you can click on the new button create a new app and let's say shrine dummy app is available then click on create app and we are here so so the deployment method click on connect to github and see and then you have to choose our repo name so it was deployment let's see so it is deployment heroku stream let's connect this to our heroku let's go down and uh, choose your branch if there are many branches then choose the appropriate branch and you have to deploy it so if everything goes correct and you click on the deploy deploy branch and everything goes correct everything is fine you can see your app running so let's do that so it will start installing all the libraries that we have mentioned in the requirement.txt so this will take some time let's get back when we have installed when everything is working fine so our app was successfully deployed and it says your app was successfully deployed and you can view it so if i click on this it is opening our app and the name of the app is akashine dummy app dot heroku app dot com and you can see the the same thing that we saw when you are local when you are running it on the local on, my, on our local machine okay so this is how you can uh, deploy your streamlit apps on heroku now you might face some issues along the way or at the end and your app doesn't deploy you know correctly and it will show uh, here a small window saying that you should check your logs the heroku logs so i'll show you how you can check your logs as well so what you do is you go to your uh, directory where your app was and then just open your command prompt here and then you can type heroku login yeah. 
this press any key to open up the browser so let's click enter <coughs> and then so it says login to the Heroku CLI so click on login you can close this page and return to your CLI so let's go back and it says you logged in as your email ID now you want to check uh, the logs where your app went wrong and because of which it did not uh, deploy properly so for that you have to write a command which is heroku logs dash dash app and name of the app so the name of our app was hacker shrine dummy app so let's let's copy this and then paste it here So as you can see it, it is showing uh, showing the logs and it says build succeeded so if you you know if there are some errors then you can you know check the errors and see where you made a mistake all right so this is how you deploy your stream that app so this is this is the same way i uh, how i deployed my uh, predicting customer category app and you can deploy your own apps now own stream that apps then this this is that's it for this video if you like a content please like share and subscribe thank you